What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're going to be talking about some good news regarding the next Warzone map, what could be a huge return for Verdansk, and even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and let me know down below in the comment section what are you most excited for in terms of future Modern Warfare 2 updates? Is it more modes, weapons, expansions to DMZ or Warzone 2? Let me know down below. But as another reminder, Season 2 is currently scheduled to begin on February the 1st, according to the in game Battle Pass timer. But that is, of course, subjects could change if at any point they want to delay the new season or something else goes wrong keep you guys updated with what's going on with the second season of dlc but as of right now infinity word also tweeted that missions to building 21 have been shut down and the scheduled infiltration will begin again on friday of this week and to stay frosty so i guess it is going to be a very constant cycle where the map comes out it's playable for three to four days tops and then goes away for another two and a half ish days every single week we'll just have to wait and see what the future may hold for this extra dmz map like i talked about in a previous video i do think that what they should do is just give four full owners of Modern Warfare 2 unlimited access to the map and then maybe have this rotation for those out there that only have Warzone 2 and DMZ installed but maybe that isn't a good idea either and they should just stop gatekeeping the new map and have anybody out there access it whenever they so please. But Charlie Intel also reminded us that what to expect in 2023 is as follows. More Modern Warfare 2 content and seasons, Warzone 2 updates, Warzone Mobile's global launch which I can't wait to cover once that does happen because there is a full-fledged integration between Warzone Mobile and COD 2.0 so you'll be able to level up the same weapons have the same camel progression and even battle pass progression by playing Verdance Mobile or Rebirth Mobile or the small limited multiplayer that game will also have. All of that progress will count towards Mono Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 as well. That's massive. And they also mentioned at the end the rumor Sledgehammer Games premium expansion of Mono Warfare 2 in the fall because Activision once again did confirm that 2023 will still feature a premium Call of Duty experience, which to me checks out no matter what that even is because for the 20 year anniversary of Call of Duty, they're just going to sit there and do nothing. You definitely expect them to do something big that's gonna cost 70 bucks to celebrate 20 years of this crazy franchise so without a doubt something is happening whether it's a year two to Modern warfare 2 or a miles morales type situation where it's a separate game that comes out that is kind of a spin-off to Modern warfare 2 we'll just have to wait and see how that works but our first major report here in the video is from tom henderson over at insider gaming who did put out this report just before new year's which is that warzone 2's resurgence map could come in season two as he reminded us in the article in december of 2022 Ralph did release Season 2 key art of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, which was promptly DMCA'd by Activision. The image, although not officially confirmed by Activision, contained World at War's castle map. Now, I don't think that was the same castle from World at War. People out there have confirmed that if you look at the leaked Resurgence map, Tack Overview, to the mini-map over in the castle multiplayer map, those just don't match at all. So I think this is a situation where Season 2 is going to be a Japanese-themed season, which happens to feature a castle of sorts that'll be within the new Resurgence map, but it's not necessarily the same map from World at War or even Vanguard, but that could be wrong as well. We just don't know as of right now. And he also put here in the article, fan theories have already suggested that Castle could be a part of a new resurgence map after leaked images of the ledge map leaked online, which showed a Castle POI. Could just be a coincidence. Insider Gaming has been told by two people, though, that the resurgence map will be coming as a part of Season 2, but due to our three-source rule, we cannot yet say for definite if it is the case. We'll update the article if more sources come forward to prove or debunk these claims. Now, I honestly don't don't think it's too soon to see this resurgence map. I mean, who knows what the data says behind the scenes at Activision regarding the player count for Warzone 2, the community interest. I think Warzone 2 definitely still has quite a bit of interest, even if some of the top streamers are saying otherwise. Could just be a Black Ops 4 situation where, despite what some of your favorite creators are saying, a lot of casuals are still playing the game, especially considering the fact that people have been booted off of Warzone 1, essentially. There's no Rebirth, no Fortune's Keep, it is just Caldera. So people out there definitely transition on top of the fact that DMZ is very popular. So that's also carrying some of the weight for Warzone 2, even if the Battle Royale isn't. But if the map is ready to go by Season 2, then I see no issue with releasing it now. I mean, there was this interesting rumor going around as of a couple days ago, which I also covered, which suggested that Swag teased on one of his recent Warzone streams that the Resurgence map wasn't going to come out until October. I don't see why that would make sense, although you could back that up by saying Verdance was the only Warzone 1 map for quite some time, and Rebirth didn't come out for many, many months, which was during the Cold War integration. So, sure, that could be the case, but I just don't see them wanting to gap out these new Warzone maps by over a year or close to that. I think the new definite agenda for Warzone is to make sure a new Warzone experience comes out maybe every couple of seasons, every, like, four-plus months. That's probably the goal to keep things fresh. I just don't think they're going to leave Almazra in for a full year on its own. 
But keep in mind, right, as I've already talked about a little bit with what we know thus far about Season 2, this season is going to probably drop with a pretty massive release of DLC. I mean, we're talking not just this Resurgence map, but we already talked about the rumored new multiplayer maps, weapons, the operators, and the fact that you can play Ground War and DMZ on the Resurgence map, that's probably going to be something we we'll end up seeing added in during maybe the mid-season update. Unless they add all that in day one, I'll also love to see that on February 1st. But keep in mind, with Season 2, we're also going to be seeing probably more expansions to Almazra, DMZ as we know it. They already confirmed more updates to the missions in DMZ altogether. And on top of that, Episode 2 of Raids, which I believe we're going to get a new raid every mid-season. There's going to be five raids total. And as of now, they're hinting there's only going to be five seasons of Modern Warfare 2. So I do think they'll be on a bit of a schedule, hopefully at least, to release a raid with every reloaded update. Now, they make a separate video talking about the Las Almas Warzone 2 map, which we know is going to happen at some point. Unless it was scrapped, then some usual suspects out there did find the exact points of interest that will be in that Battle Royale map. And we already know there's an image of the giant tack map itself that was found over in Campaign. That might not be the final look at the Las Almas Warzone map, but as of right now, there's quite a few maps on deck for Warzone 2 that are going to happen. And I think what's fascinating to me is that it's already on pace to release more Battle Royale experiences at least versus what Warzone 1 did. Warzone 1, you had Verdansk. Many, many months later, you got Rebirth. And then nearly a year after that, we finally got Caldera. And then what was it? Maybe six months, seven months after Caldera, we got Fortune's Keep. But I think right now we're on track to see many more Warzone maps come out that might not just be for Battle Royale, but also DMZ. Speaking of which, we just got Building 21 added in Season 1 Reloaded, which also was a map that didn't get leaked out whatsoever and also wasn't marketed as a new map, even though it is. It's a bit of a different experience from Almazra DMZ, but I also think it's possible that maybe with every season they're gonna want to release another small ish map that's either for battle royale or dmz or both i mean we could say both but we'll have to wait and see how the dmz schedule looks for the rest of the year if more maps are going to come out but as i talked about in a previous video in regards to building 21 it has been heavily speculated that building 21 was built on top of the crater of verdansk after that nuke event and to help explain why there's labs and weird experiments going on with unknown elements in that building you could argue that shadow company is messing around with whatever was left behind with that zombies outbreak the Vodianoi ship that ended up on Verdansk led to a big outbreak the outbreak couldn't be contained so the entire map got nuked something like that is probably going on it's not confirmed building 21 is in Verdansk but I do expect them to probably confirm that if that is the case in the next season or two I also think it would be fascinating as we talked about over on the recent podcast to maybe have something where maybe in Almazra in DMZ when you're trying to exfil you could see a small cutscene of sorts and maybe you can choose to then go straight to Building 21 to help kind of bridge the map together. I mean, if Building 21 is in Verdansk, that's pretty far away from where Almazra is, so I don't know if a helicopter cutscene would even make that much sense, but imagine seeing a full-fledged crossover between those two maps so that it could help explain what's happening in the current Modern Warfare canon, but what's even cooler about that is the possibility of seeing what's above ground over in Building 21, right? We have these iodine pills, we have gas masks, the radiation medicine, we have all that in Warzone 2 already. What if that gets used even more than already has over in Spec Ops, but in an experience that takes place above ground. Maybe it'll just be for DMZ or some Spec Ops missions, or they end up doing a Chernobyl for dance like BR experience, whether it's as big as Almazra or smaller for Resurgence. They could do that at some point, maybe during the summer. I mean, I don't know when that would end up releasing, though, because of the Lost Almost Battle Royale map, which is also supposed to happen. And the reason why I even think it's possible isn't just because Verdansk was quote-unquote popular with Warzone 1, but they have that map kind of on deck. The map is developed. All they have to do is just give it that Chernobyl-type reskin, which might not be the easiest thing to do, but it's a map kind of just sitting there that could be repurposed for something of that nature, right? There's a rumored Zombies experience coming in 2023. What if Treyarch just takes Verdansk and puts Outbreak on it and gives the map a Chernobyl-like vibe and Building 21 could be somewhere around there as well. That would be badass to really bridge all these gaps together with gameplay, the storyline, what the community wants. I think that would be a fantastic idea that could honestly work for the current Modern Warfare canon. But as we've also talked about before on a recent podcast and of course in some other videos, I think as long as they continue putting an effort to kind of bridge the gaps together between all these maps, that they connect Almazra to Building 21 a lot more with something as simple as having Shadow Company operatives walking around Almazra and then maybe they're holding Building 21 key cards. That alone helps the story quite a bit. Hopefully with Season 2 and Onward, we get some better bridges gapped for the way the story is currently working because as of now, the story's only really been progressed 
through DMZ and then the raid episode. It wasn't really progressed through Warzone 2 Battle Royale or even the multiplayer, so we'll just have to wait and see what they end up doing in the future seasons. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on this good news regarding the new Resurgence map coming out in Season 2? How are you feeling about a possible huge return for Verdance through a Chernobyl-like vibe and everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.